Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Pokemon. Now when we left off, we just defeated the gym leader, and we are about to face our rival, so I need to switch up a thing or two in the party. Let's have Poliwag beat it off. Oops, still getting used to the controls. It's a little bit weird with the emulator I'm using. Alright, and let's bring it on. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! Quit lying. You're not joking? Then let's see how good you are. Yeah, we're not joking. We beat those guys. They're not so tough. I don't know why he's so surprised. Ghastly. See, Sandshrew would have been... Well, he, he wouldn't have been able to hit this thing, so it's a good thing. Hmm. Yeah, keep using Spite all day. Now, unfortunately, my cold came back a little bit. So, I'm going to try to fight through that once again. Okay, Water Gun, take that, Ghastly. You are asleep and you cannot attack us. Yeah, that's right, you're fast asleep. Ain't nothing gonna wake you up. So yeah, hopefully this cold will go away. The thing is, I think I let my guard down because yesterday I was feeling better and I didn't really take any cold medicine or I didn't really have much vitamin C, which supposedly helps. And, well, as soon as I woke up, sure enough, it's back. I tell you, whenever I go to sleep, it never helps my cold. I don't know why. But it's pretty annoying. I don't like it that much. Because then I have to, you know, when I go to sleep, I just wake up and cold's back. But that's alright, I guess. It's gonna go away soon enough. Today I did take some cold medicine and vitamin C stuff, so... Hopefully that will destroy it once and for all. Ooh, critical hit. Poliwag is doing awesome. Now since Crocodile's coming out, I'm gonna try Hypnosis again, but this time I'm gonna use Bubble instead of Water Gun because I don't really expect to defeat him that fast and Bubble will also lower his speed occasionally. Well that is if Croconaw doesn't just win before I can even land Hypnosis. Okay, there we go. So I don't really expect to win with Poliwag because it only has Water-type attacks. So I think the best thing we can do is just slow it down and then have something else come in and take care of the job. Wow, that did almost nothing. If this doesn't lower his speed after a while, I'll probably just start using Water Gun. Just to get the battle over with. Not that I'm in a hurry to get it over with, it's just that this guy's kind of a waste of time because he's not going to beat me, he has no chance at all. Okay, woke up again. I'm going to try putting him to sleep one more time. Perfect, it worked. Alright, now we can continue our bubble assault. He woke up already. And. You know. Nah, I'll just. I was gonna switch to Sandshrew, but. I think that Sandshrew deserves all the XP. Well, he not deserves, but he needs it. And hopefully, Sandshrew can defeat Croconaw. I'm only worried about its water attacks, and. If I can slow it down enough, then hopefully that will help. And I don't think its speed has fallen once since I've been using Bubble. Man, okay. Black Grind is over with. Go, Sandshrew. And I'll just keep using Scratch. Ooh, that's... Well, actually, that won't be too bad, because if he uses a Water Attack, it's going to be Special Attack, and he lowered my... My normal defense, so this water gun's not going to do any more damage than it would have if he used it right away. Still does a lot of damage, though. 
See, that's what I was concerned about. And it doesn't seem like Sand Sugar's gonna get through this. Maybe we do have a tough battle on our hands, guys. It's all up to Cool Lava now, but I think Cool Lava can do it. Even though it is fire type. Let's just go for an ember. Hopefully we'll get a burn off or something. You know, that wasn't really too bad in terms of damage. I think we could just get away with keep spamming Ember. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, that's not as bad as I thought. Okay, well that's good. We might have this one already, if that's the case. I mean, he's bound to get burned eventually, right? That was a lot of damage. See, now I'm not sure if I'll survive another hit. Do I have a potion? I might not even have a potion. We could be in big trouble. No, we have a potion. I'm gonna use that right now, just in case. I don't think we're gonna survive another hit from that water gun. Hopefully, uh, I used another one. You know, I'm gonna stop with Ember and hopefully I could just muscle out a tackle and hopefully that'll take care of the job. We'll see. Yeah, that was probably the smart thing to do. I should have done that from the beginning. Sometimes I overthink it though, and I'm like, no, I gotta burn him, because then he'll slow down, and also it'll take damage, and yeah. But we won. I hate the weak. Pokemon trainers, it doesn't matter who or what. I'm going to be strong and wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket too. They act big and tough in a group. But get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. A weakling like you is only a distraction. Well, you wanted to battle me. I I had nothing to do with that. Okay, so... Oops. I keep going to pack for some reason. Switch Sand Shrew and Polywag again. I think everyone had a pretty good battle in them. So, let's give them a heal. And... Since it has been... More than a day later, hopefully Kurt is done with that Pokeball. Not sure if it's gonna work since I'm on an emulator, but we'll see. Yep, it works. Awesome, got a fastball. I'm not exactly sure what that one does though. I'm pretty sure it just works with Pokemon that are fast. Actually, I'm going to take a quick pause right here, so one sec. Alright, and I'm back. Sorry about that, everyone. My cold's getting the best of me at the moment. Um, and here we are in Ilex Forest. This place is semi-annoying. I don't really mind it, it's just, um... The wild Pokemon in here aren't too great, so... We kind of just have to deal with them. So, it's a little bit extra training for Sandshrew, which is pretty good. Yeah, one hit, that's no problem at all. And let's go to this guy. Oh man, my boss is going to be steaming. The farfetch that cuts trees for coal, charcoal, <laughs> took off on me. I can't go looking for it in here. I can't... Yeah, I'm not even going to read this. I'm failing too bad now. So we have to find his far-fetched. And there it is. And a Metapod is here. That might actually be pretty rare to find here. I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, we'll scratch it. Hmm, he has a lot more defense than I thought. And he's keep, gonna keep using Harden, but Sancho's gonna KO him. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Okay, well, let's get this far fetched. And basically, what you do is go up to it a few times, scare it away, and eventually it'll run back to that guy. And then we'll get cut, which we can teach to Sancho because. Well, he needs another attack. 
It would be better than Scratch, that's for sure. And I'm just gonna one-hit KO most of the stuff here just to... Uh, you know what? No, they're not even worth my time anymore. Qua. Actually, if I have any repels, I'll just use that. I don't believe I do, though. Nope. Oh well. Doesn't bother me any. Now he's going back that way. See, that's, that's exactly what we wanted. I believe there's... Oh, man. I believe there's a few items out here, but I'm not going to get them unless I see them. I'm not going to go looking for them right now because they're not super important, so we can live without them. Let's run away from this guy. Hopefully we can... Oh, okay, there's another one, so... I'll just get that... You know, I'll get that now. Because I'm not going to come back for it, but I do want it. Revive. See, it's a good thing I got that. Revives are very useful. Okay, so... Let's get back out of here. And talk to Farfetch'd again. And I think this is it. Ugh, I just had to say that, didn't I? Weedle. Go home, Weedle. We don't want you here. Okay, now we can get cut. Oh, oh come on. Come on. It's another Weedle. Unless you're shiny, I want nothing to do with you. I'm still looking out for that shiny. I haven't found one yet, but I hope to. That'd be awesome. Ah, my Farfetch'd. You found it for us, kid. Without it, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. HM01, he's just gonna give it to me. That's pretty nice of him. That's the cut, HM. Teach that to Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you'll have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. Okay, no problem. Let's, let's get on that right now. Cut. And Sand Shrew should be able to learn it, I believe. Yep. Not bad. Pretty sweet deal. Now we can... Really? Okay, I'm getting... I'm getting repels at the next city. I'll probably leave some annotations and actually I don't know why I just did that. Whatever. I'll probably leave some annotations in here to skip. I'm not too sure. I mean it just seems unnecessary to me. I mean I guess they're convenient, but I don't know. If you guys want them, let me know and I'll put them in future episodes, so be sure to leave that in the comments because that would help me help you, and helping you is what my job is. And this shrine is for, apparently Celebi's supposed to be here, but I mean not in this game, because unfortunately the English version did not get Celebi. Why, I don't know, but it just didn't. And here's another X attack that's pretty useless, but that's okay, we could just sell it for money. And that guy's pretty cool, because he'll give us a pretty cool TM. We get that item and I'm gonna go around over to him. Okay, Caterpie, you could just leave. We don't want you here. Antidote. Very, very helpful. Especially in here. You never know what might happen. That would have been useful earlier on in the game, but that's okay. Ooh, a Paris. I don't think we want Paris, though. I mean, he's pretty cool, but I think he kind of cramps our style, to be honest with you. So goodbye, Paris. We don't want you yet. Uh, I'll just get this. Whenever I see these, I have to go get them. I don't know why. Instinct, I suppose. And I believe that cut I took earlier was the first one in this whole series, so... I don't know if that's good or bad, but... Well, it's not really good, because I had to take it, because... To alleviate some cold symptoms, and luckily that seems to be stopping for the moment. I hate colds, guys. Um, oh yeah, we gotta run from him, so we don't need to battle him. It's a waste of time. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using a headbutt. It's fun. Here, you should try it too. Okay, he's headbutting trees by himself then. 
rattle trees with headbutt. Sometimes sleeping Pokemon fall out. I might just do that. Headbutt, headbutt, okay, here it is. They can all learn it, that's pretty cool. I'll teach you to Poliwag, that way he's kind of non-water type move. So I'm gonna try headbutting a few trees, why not? We could find something cool. Well, I always thought you could. Ooh, Pineco. I don't think we want Pineco though, he's just gonna explode. Um, let's fight him. Cut. I'm gonna cut you up. Oh no, he's gonna... Or maybe not. I'm not gonna risk it though, let's get out of here. I just thought we could take him. So we'll headbutt some more trees later, I think. But Pineco is not what we want because he's... Well, I like Fortress, don't get me wrong, but... Oh, there's actually a trainer in here? Huh. Well, what do you know? I honestly don't remember him being here. Bugcatcher Wayne wants to battle. Hopefully not the hockey player. Cuts. That's pretty powerful. It gets the job done pretty well. Good. Supersonic did not affect Sandshrew. Sandshrew is too awesome for that junk. That nonsense. And a Paris. Okay, this should be a pretty easy battle. And let's do another cut. Wow, okay. Paris is a little bit stronger. Oh, no. Why? Why do you have to do that to me, bro? Paralyze me and then scratch me? That's not... Oh, now I'm fully paralyzed. Can't do anything about that. Well, I can, probably, but I'm gonna wait till the battle's over because that's probably the best time to do it. Wow, this is a little bit ridiculous. Well... He played it smart, but it was a little bit annoying for us. And we should get rid of that paralysis right now, so... I'm gonna open up our pack. Um, we have something. Okay, that berry over there. Yum, delicious. It's, now we're not paralyzed. Okay. Let's move on, and we are not moving on. So we have a Caterpie. That's how it is. We're gonna run away from Caterpie because he's a little jerk. Making us take longer on our journey. And we are out of Ilex Forest, thank goodness. I'm gonna talk to this nice lady because she has a TM for free. I will never use this TM, but... You know, it's, it's there. Might as well get it. The least I can do is sell it. So let's battle some of these guys. This is where I do my training. In America. Except we're not in America, we're in wherever Pokemon is. We're in, uh, Johto. Yeah, Johto. That's a country, right? I think so. Anyway. We shall dispatch of his Rattata. Or however you say this thing's name. Pretty swiftly here. Although he is faster than us, somehow. Oh, maybe it was just because he's... Yeah, just because he's quick attack. Wow, he's got four Pokemon. Oh, and he's got a Sandshrew, too. This is going to be a Sandshrew battle. This looks different. Uh, maybe not. Let's let's try this. Yep, this is going to be a battle, all right. Cut versus Scratch. Sandshrew versus Sandshrew. Male versus female. The differences and similarities are just everywhere. Okay, we win because we're better. 17, pretty nice. Trying to learn Poison Sting. Yeah, that's a good move. Get rid of Scratch, I'd say. Because we have Cut now, so... Saint Trudeau's Poison Sting. Very nice indeed. And Spiro. No, I'm not going to switch. Okay, let's, let's keep cutting away. That seems to be our best plan of attack. Or something like that. 
See, I don't know what I'm saying half the time when I play these games, but that's okay, because I love playing these games. As you can tell, I mean, I enjoy myself all the time playing and recording this. I just... I can't get enough of this, really. I mean, I've been playing this since I was so young, and I'm still playing it today, so... I think that's really cool. Beaten by a passing stranger. No, stranger, I'm the main character. You can't win. Main character never loses. Ooh, he just got his Pokemon back from the daycare. Pretty nice. Oh, that reminds me, I have to go to the daycare to get that mystery egg, because apparently... Now, I could be wrong, but there's a... It just hatches into something kind of random. There's also a 50% chance it could be shiny, so... That's pretty awesome, guys. We're gonna get that. Wow, this snubble's pretty tough. Those daycare guys knew what they were doing. But, however, he's no match for Sandshrew. Ooh, except when he does that, then he is. Or she. Oh, come on, you got a berry or something? Really? Oh, man. My attack fell, so it's gonna be even harder to defeat this. He might win. He might be Sandshrew somehow. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Oh, Tail Whip. Yep. If he uses Bite again, he wins, I think. So let's hope this will do it. Yes! Perfect. Very nice. Sandshrew. Captain Clutch. Pokefan Brandon was defeated. Why does it end this way? Because I'm the main character. You can't beat me. When will these guys ever learn? And... Oh, really? I'm the best of my class at Pokemon. Go back to school, kid. It's in the middle of the day. Oh, he's not even a school guy. He's just a youngster. Who happens to go to school. One of the few in this game, I should say. Mankey. That's pretty cool. Who's got a Mankey? Wish I had a Mankey. Ooh. Pretty tough guy. But not tough enough. We're gonna win. Except when he does that. I forgot that he went first. Okay. Um, go Poliwag. Let's teach him a lesson in pain. Headbutt. Gotcha. Lots of XP. There we go. Diglett. Perfect. Because we are water type. And he is ground type or something like that. So let's give him a water gun. See, I always wonder, they have things like Water Gun, and that always made me think, what if I had an actual Water Gun in the game? Couldn't I just get, like, one of those Super Soakers and spray Diglett with it and defeat him? I mean, you don't have to be a Pokemon to do that, right? Let's talk to this lovely lady over here. Are you a trainer? Let's have practice battle. Okay, let's practice battle. Sure, whatever. And she will give me her number. Actually, I think one of those other guys will too, but... I forget which one, so I'm not gonna bother. Actually, I do know which one, but... Okay. And this episode's getting a little bit longer here, so we're just gonna finish this battle and head to the daycare and hope they have something cool for us. Why did I do that? Why did I use Bubble? What am I thinking? Headbutt. Take that. Yeah, you got no chance. No chance in the world. Unless you have Bulbasaur, of course, but... I mean, who has Bulbasaur here, right? Give it another headbutt, because it is the best move in the game, except it really isn't. It's, it's okay. It's not a bad move. It can make him flinch, which is always helpful. Ooh, double slap, huh? Yeah, I think we will. Get rid of Bubble, because we have Water Gun. And we are building quite a moveset with Bollywag here. It's pretty nice. And, oh, she does have Bulbasaur. Well, what do you know? I did not see that coming. No, I didn't. He's... Bulbasaur looks a little bit messed up. I don't think he's supposed to be that green, but... Okay, whatever. Headbutt, and he is no match for Poliwag. And the Picnicker was defeated, so... Let's give her our number so we can battle again sometime. Oh, she's a cheerleader, too. I don't remember that being part of the game, but okay. 
Alright, now hopefully we can get past here without going to the tall grass. I mean, well, without getting caught by anything in there. And there's no trainers there, good, so... Let's talk to this daycare dude. You know about eggs. I was raised to put up my life. You see, we were shocked to find an egg. How incredible is that? Well, wouldn't you like this egg? Then fine, this is yours to keep. Thank you for the odd egg. You are... See, everyone in this world is just so nice. Let's see, do you have anything for us? Probably not, because I talked to your husband first. Oh wait, oh no no no, don't raise anything for me, that's okay. Okay, and... And I'm gonna end the episode here, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. And until then, goodbye everyone.